Thank you to our students for those heartfelt intentions. And now, it is my honor to introduce our acting president, Lisa Kloppenberg, who will offer a few words to our graduates. Thank you, Professor Billingsley. I'm honored to share a few remarks this morning, and I'm particularly excited since I'm also a Bronco parent, with my daughter, Kellen, graduating today with her degree in communication. It was a beautiful day yesterday at our in-person celebration, and it was so wonderful to see so many of you graduates and your incredibly proud parents. The joy and happiness of the day was heartwarming. We are extremely proud of you, the class of 2021, for your incredible achievements. From the moment you joined our community, you've impressed the faculty and staff here with your energy and passion, your drive to find your vocation, your creative pursuits, and ways to make a difference. As Isabel Wilkerson wrote, you must leave this world a better place than it would have been if you had not existed. You took this to heart and we've witnessed your persistence and tenacity in helping advocate for change. You continue to champion solutions to society's most pressing problems, racial injustice, economic inequality, and climate change, just to name a few. In your time here, your accomplishments have truly been many. In your class are Fulbright scholars, talented artists and performers, ethics scholars, scientists and researchers, selfless volunteers and social entrepreneurs, hardworking EMTs and public health students who worked as county contact tracers and here in our own COVID testing centers. And speaking of achievements, we need look no further than our amazing women's soccer team. These gifted athletes showed us such grit and determination in their remarkable run against formidable top seeded competitors. They brought home the Division I National Championship trophy despite the difficult circumstances of this past year. Like our championship soccer players, I'm confident that each of you will be successful if you follow your passions and keep your hearts open to the joy and beauty we can find even amidst life's challenges. And so I leave you with a couple of thoughts to remember no matter where your journey takes you after Santa Clara. First, keep in mind that making a difference doesn't have to be grand. Sometimes small gestures of everyday kindness, such as encouraging a friend, can help so much. Each of us, in our own way, can help make this world a bit kinder and gentler. Second, be sure to stay in touch with your friends as well as the mentors and teachers who have connected with you here at Santa Clara. Our faculty and staff will be rooting for you every step of the way. And as our newest alumni, you are now joining the ranks of over 100,000 passionate Bronco alumni all over the world. Take advantage of this wonderful network and your shared foundation of Jesuit education. Finally, never forget that struggles and failures are a natural part of life. This historic pandemic threw lots of struggles your way already, and your class creatively and flexibly navigated so many challenges over the last year and a half. As that wise woman Oprah has said, challenges are gifts that force us to search for a new center of gravity. Don't fight them, just find a new way to stand. You have found your new center of gravity and thrived despite so many shifting circumstances. I hope that when you reflect on this time, you will be proud of your resilience and strength. In closing, 
as St. Ignatius said, I send you forth to set the world on fire. May you continue your journey with strength and dignity, unafraid of the future. God bless you and go Broncos.